What is up everyone, it's Ricky572, Return of Chance. Today is May 1st, 2023. We're gonna hop on and do a quick market watch. Uh, but first, I did top Pasadena Regionals. I got 30th place, so it, it's not too good. But I did top and get my invite. If you guys want to go check out my Sprite Tribrigade deck list, I do have it on the channel, so you guys can go check that out. Uh, but I did want to start with Kaijus today because Purely's are coming out soon. Uh, we had pre-release this... Uh, was it pre-release? Yeah, we had pre-release sneak peek this weekend. I didn't buy any packs because we have Nivek who bought a case. Uh, and it's probably going to come this week. So we'll be opening that, opening that up and seeing what he pulls. Hopefully he pulls some good stuff. Uh, but Kaijus, it looks like they're still sticking around that. Well, the Gamma Seals, the Secret Rare, they're sticking around like that. Uh, $17 price point, $17, $18 price point. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Kumongus, which I think is like the... Second lowest attack kaiju. This one is at so we have one lightly played at 1217, 1294, 1320. So they're around like that $13 mark for these. And then we have the other gamma seals. Looks like these ultra rares are around like the uh, looks like they officially hit the $10 price point. Line 69 basically with tax that's going to cost you like $10 for the ultra rares. And let's see what the rares are at. Oh, that's a super rare. My bad. That's super rare. Wonder why super rare is worth more. Oh, uh, ultra rare, thirty-seven listings. Looks like the ultra rares, seven ninety-nine, seven ninety-nine, almost hitting that eight dollar price point. So yeah, we do have uh, these still up in price. We have another super rare, Jiz Jizukuru, I think that's how you pronounce it. This one you could actually add with like, uh, there's in Cyber Dragon decks. I know you could add this, uh, seven fifty-nine, seven fifty-one, eight ninety-nine. Uh, 950 so almost in that $10 mark for these OTS pack ones the super rares I might actually get rid of these and I know it had like a common version if I'm not mistaken So I might get rid of the super rares. I should have it in my uh, cyber dragon deck somewhere So I might get rid of that because they're pretty high only eight listings on the market for that one We have dog around with 20 listings Honestly, let's see what what is this? Say? It looks like they were at like three ish dollars and are climbing up to the five six dollar mark on the first page but I mean, if I were you guys, I would just go for the secret rare since it's technically a higher rarity, and it's a speed duel. I like speed duel cards. Uh, looks like these are around like five-ish dollars. Or this, the, we have a wall here with one thousand six hundred seventy-four uh, copies, so we'll call it like around five-ish dollars. So I would just go for this one, the secret rare, instead of the super rare, just because it's a higher rarity. But let me know how you guys feel. Would you rather rather go for the secret rare or for the super rare? Then we have the rare kaijus. Looks like these are seven dollars uh, for the gamma seals. So we have one. I'm pretty sure this one is offline. Yeah, it's offline. So we have gamma seal rares for seven dollars right here. This is from the Dimension of Chaos. And let's see, we have another rare copy from the 2016 Megatons. It looks like these are reaching that eight dollar price point as well. I would just go for the ultra rare at that point instead of the rares. But I'm gonna look through both because I might have some of these rare ones. Uh, let's see, we have some more Kamungas. These look like they're around like three ish dollars. These are around like three ish dollars as well. Uh, the one I did want to look at though, uh, it looks like everything else is like a dollar and under for the Kaijus. But the one I wanted to look at was Radiant because I noticed he was kind of going low on listings as well. So we have the rare one from Dimension of Chaos. It looks like these are reaching the for near mint because everything else is like moderately and damaged and heavily played. So first near mint we have is for uh, 26 right there. And then we have 474. So they're almost reaching that $5 mark for these rare ones. And let's see. I know we have other copies. We have the another rare one from the 2016 Megatons. These have also gone up in price. Uh, let's see. Our first lightly played is 318, then 320. Uh, then we hit 451, 499, 499. So almost reaching that $5 mark as well for these rare ones. And I think we got a structure deck one from the, uh, let's see, what is it? Sacred Beast structure deck. I think these were almost hitting a dollar. Uh, 35 cents, 54 cents, 57 cents. I mean, I guess it's like a dollar with, with shipping. But they are starting to go up in price a little bit. You can tell by the graph right there. Uh, they are starting to go up in price. So just be aware that this Radiant, uh, it's a dark one. So I think this one might be ran in like branded builds. Because if they run Super Poly, they could easily use this as a uh, Super Poly material to go into a Fusion. 
Uh, but yeah, it is going up in price. Just wanted, wanted to let you guys know and be aware of that. Oh, we have another comment here. Oh, never mind about the comments then. Just stick to the rares. Uh, but we do have comments if you do want to uh, be a budget player and play the comments. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the Kaijus. Let me know how you guys feel about the Kaijus being uh, ran this format. Are you guys thinking about maining them to go against Pearly? Do you have any, any other techs that you guys could think of that you're going to run against Pearly? The next card I want to talk about is Baguska. Uh, so I'm not really sure what top deck is using this or why it's getting a little buyout. Uh, but these rares from Eldorado are reaching almost a two dollar price point we have 199 199 with shipping but then after that they hit 209 209 and plus shipping 230 so basically that's 330 331 340 343 uh that's probably gonna charge you a dollar for shipping so 345 and 177 it's almost hitting that two dollar mark so we'll call it two dollars for these rare from el dorado so but yeah they are starting to go up in price super rares it looks like the super rares we have 55 listings on the market for it and these are around like the 350 350 473 375 so we'll call it like four ish dollars for the for the super rare uh ultras we have two versions of it we have the advent calendar and then the battles of legend uh battles of legend is at 51 listing it looks like it did go up uh back in april these are at like 590, 596, 598, uh, 599 with shipping, 599 with shipping, 499. So we'll call it like $5 because it looks like on the second page with shipping, it's like around five ish dollars. So we'll call it $5 for these. And then the advent calendar ones, which I think are lower on listings, it looks like we have 14 listings on the market. Uh, we start at 550, 592, so $6, uh, 625, 629. 699 and heading up to 778 on the first page so we'll call it like six to seven dollars for these advent calendar versions but yeah let me know down in the comments if you know what deck might be using this i know uh exo sisters are getting that spirit monster that lets them uh go into rank four plays more consistently but they do get locked into exo sisters if they use martha so i guess it kind of conflicts but like i said let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are why it might be going up in price so I saw MCO40 talk about Infinitrack Tumblr, uh, and I know that we, we are getting a new Infinitrack card in Cyberstorm X. It looks like the pre-sale price for that is $4, uh, but I wanted to take a look at it on here. Uh, it looks like it did get a little bit of a price increase. It was around like 50 cents, a dollar, under a dollar, but now we have copies at 269 well, 375 with shipping, 387 388 390 396 Let's look at the second page. Uh... 350 350 389 so yeah it's starting it's like that around that three dollar price point for these infinitrack tunnelers and they were at around like a dollar before so they did start going up in price the other ones though are kind of sticking around the same price point they were at a couple months ago i remember picking these up around like six to seven dollars and these seekers are at 52 listings we have them at 671 671 seven dollars 729 and uh 741 on the first page and then we have infinite track anchor drill yeah this one took a dip for some reason it should be going up since we did get a new infinite track card but it's going down instead uh looks like these are at 30 listings and i remember seeing these around like five to six dollars so it's not too much of a change right here so we have some at 750 eight dollars 847 862 896 897 and 899 right there so I guess there is a little bit of a change because they were at like five to six dollars and now they're like around eight to nine dollars. So just keep your eye out on this one. Looks like we do have some ultra rare reprints from the 2020 10s for Infinite Track Anchor Drill and Harvester. So if you're trying to stay budget, uh, you could go after these. It looks like these are around like three ish dollars. Looks like they did start to go up too as well. But it looks like they're all sticking around like the three dollar price point. And let's take a look at the other one. Anchor drill looks like it did start to go up a little bit too. Uh, three ish dollars, three ish dollars. So, yeah, they're on like that three dollar price point for these ultra rare copies. If you do want to stay budget, if not, you could go after these, but they're starting to go up higher in price. So, I wanted to take a look at Underworld Goddess because Underworld Goddess is kind of an out to the purely X seed and it's in the extra deck, so it's kind of more accessible than trying to join to like a kaiju or you're out to the uh purely X seed that's unaffected by card effects. 
Uh, the only problem is that it doesn't use 4 plus effect monsters, it's a link 5, so you're going to need a special summon a lot to try to get rid of their monster. Uh, you can also use one monster your opponent controls as material to link summon this card so it doesn't affect the monster, it just gets rid of it by game mechanics. Uh, it looks like, oh, excuse me, it looks like these are at 143 listings. And we have listings at 435, 439 with shipping, 439, 440, 440 right there shipping, 445, 446, 478 on the first page. And we have a couple walls right here, 833 copies, 12 copies, 37 copies. So you have a bunch of copies available for you guys if you do want to try to check this out. Looks like they're on like the 4 dollar price point, uh, $4.50 with shipping. But we do have the original copies from Blazing Vortex. At $8.99, and hitting $11.50 on the first page. I would just go for the Prismatic Seeker Rare, uh, just because it's, I think it looks better than the original Seeker Rare, in my opinion. But let me know how you guys feel about Underworld Goddess. Do you guys think people are going to tech this, this format, or are they going to stick to Kaijus, Exceed Encore, and things like that? Before we get to Ancient Gear Ballista, which is really high in price, I want to talk about Cleef for Genius. Uh, this was one of those cards that it I think is using the super heavy samurai builds. I think they only use like one copy of these. Uh, this ultra rare is from Dual Power, and it looks like it did have a price increase. It looks like they're around like 60, 70 cents. And right now, I think this one's offline. Yeah, it's offline. So we have copies starting at 220 with shipping, 254, 255, 257, uh, 258, 275. 282 and then uh, I guess 197 right there. So hitting the two dollar price point uh, for Cleef for Genius Ultra Rares. Only 51 listings on the market. Then we have the rares from Extreme Force. Looks like these started to go up a bit too. Uh, 61 listings on the market and they are hitting that dollar price point uh, for the rare copies. They were at 70 cents, so I guess that's like a 30 cent uh, increase in price. But now on to Ancient Gear Ballista. This one's the one that we took a look at, I think, two weeks ago. It was around like six, seven dollars, and I didn't buy any because I thought they were pretty high in price then, but they went even higher in price now. Uh, looks like we have 15 listings on the market, and our first listing is at 19, basically $20 with shipping, $20.99, $20.99, $21.25, and going up to that $25.99 mark on the first page. Do we have sales? Yeah, we have sales at $19, $20, $20, $20, $20. Uh, yeah, they, we have consistent sales at $20. So if you have these in bulk somewhere, uh, definitely dig them out and try to get rid of them while they're the price is high. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Ancient Gearbox, and this is what you add off of Ancient Gear Ballista. Looks like Ancient Gearbox from the Structured Deck Machine Reactor. These are commons. Uh, 30 listings on the market, and it looks like they are officially at $2, $2, $2.99 with shipping, basically $2.24 with shipping, uh, $3.24, $2.32 with shipping, and $3.41 right there on the first page. So they're hitting that $2 to $3 mark for these common versions. Then we have another common version from Prim Primal Origin. Uh, these are at 61 listings. It looks like we did have an increase in price. Looks like these are hitting the $2 price point as well on the first page, uh, $1.89, so that's basically $2 with shipping. Uh, one two dollar with shipping, two oh five. Yeah, these are officially two dollars. Let me know how you guys feel about ancient gear box going up in price. Do you guys think it could keep going up in price, even though you only uh, run one of these, and it could be a brick in the deck. Uh, do you guys think it could keep going up in price, or is it just gonna stick around that two dollar price point? Power filter kind of surprised me the other day because I had some listed for around like ten ish dollars, and I noticed it sold. And then I found some common ones in my folder. Uh, and I decided to list those and they sold for like five dollars uh, so let's look at the common ones first looks like we have 21 listing for the common uh, this one's probably offline so let's see yeah that one's offline so we start at 470 570 basically shipping 595 596 597 597 598 uh, and 499 right there so basically five dollars for power filter commons and then we have the super rares uh, I saw these hit up like a high price point of like 18 to 20 dollars but it looks like right now they are at lightly played starts at 1349 1349 1349 $14.50, and heading up to that 15 dollar price point uh, for these super rares it says neither player may special summon monsters with a thousand attack or, or less so I guess this is a tech that people are thinking about uh, citing for purely 
uh, since it does stop pure leaves from special summoning. But let me know how you guys feel about power filter down in the comments. Chain Disappearance is one of those cards I saw being uh, talked about to tech against purely. So we have secret rares and super rares. Looks like the super rares and secrets are going up in price. But we have rares, gold rares, comments, rares, and some more rares right here available for my budget players if you don't want to pay the secret or super rare price point. Uh, looks like the secret rares were like around a dollar uh, back in the beginning of April. Uh, what what this card says it does, it says when a monster with a thousand or less attack is summoned, banish that monster with a thousand or less attack. Then your opponent banishes all cards with the same name as that card, cards from their hand and deck. So it's pretty good against Purely because it gets rid of the other copies from their deck and hand uh, when they summon a Purely. We have 42 listings on the market and it looks like we start our listings at $595, $599, $6, uh, $645, $650 and hitting $655 on the first page. Let's take a look at the super rares now. Uh, looks like the super rares we have... 21 listings on the market. That's French, French. We have French at like $17.99, $18 for French. We have some uh, near mint English right here at $19.93. Then we have heavily played, lightly played German at $19.99. Uh, German, $19.99. Italian at $20.99. Then we had another English at $24.50. And on the second page, we have $24.78, $24.98, $25.90. Almost hitting that $30 mark on the second page, going up to $45. But let me know how you guys feel about Chain Disappearance. Do you guys think it could make an impact this next format and that Dex might run this? Or will they stick to Kaijus, uh, Exceed Encores, and things like that? Verna Self of the Flourishing Hills I noticed was going up a little bit in price. And I think this is because of Earth Machines. Uh, back when Earth Machines were being played, I know they were attacking this a little bit. And because we're getting a new Infinitrack monster in Cyber Storm Access, people are probably picking these up to get ready for that. So we have 40 listings on the market. It looks like these were around like the $3.50 price point. Looks like now we have copies starting at $5.97, $4.99, $5.20, $5.20, $5.20, $5.32 is shipping, $5.33, $5.33 right there is shipping and hitting $5.35 on the first page. Looks like we don't have any big walls on here on the first page. So let's take a look at the second page. Uh, no walls. We have a wall right here with nine copies, 649. Then we have another wall right here with nine copies as well, 678, but no major big walls. So I'm pretty sure this card could go up to like the six, seven dollar price point. We hit our first wall right here at uh, with Gamers Choice having 246 copies of it on their third page, but it could easily uh, people could easily buy these out since we don't have too many copies on the first or second page and it could easily hit that six to seven dollar mark but let me know how you guys feel about vernus of, of the flourishing hills i actually was thinking about taking this in a little fossil build i'm thinking about making so i'm gonna pick my copies up before they go up in price but let me know how you guys feel down in the comments below and last card on today's market watch is gonna be tired of the great warrior so it looks like it finally sold this past saturday and the winning bid was for three hundred eleven thousand two hundred eleven dollars and i'm really curious to find out who the buyer is were they like a Yu-Gi-Oh collector, a Yu-Gi-Oh player, or was it like an organization that uh, came together and bought this? Uh, but yeah, definitely exceeded my expectations. Let me know down in the comments if it exceeded yours. I thought this was this card was gonna sell for like a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollar max, but it looks like it went for over three hundred k. But that's gonna be it for today's market watch. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Our return chance. This is Ricky Five Seven Two, and we'll see you guys next time.